Hello, Randall Monk and Rhonda Vazane here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. My, how time flies. We're back <laughs> with uh, something. We'll, we'll find out. I'll find out. It's a surprise for me, too. <laughs> All right, here we go. You are, being, you, you are being reunited with many precious members of your soul family, some of your intimate soulmates and groups with whom you have journeyed from the beginning of time and with whom you have had most many wondrous experiences. It's uh, pretty vast to understand how complex we are, where we've been, what we've done, and truly what we're composed of, because we are composed of all of these unique experiences, it's holographic, it's uh, sometimes Someone needs to um, do a figure with all the holograms. <laughs> that would be complicated. That would be complicated. <laughs> but uh, it's time to understand. And Michael has often said, you don't know what someone's having a very difficult time and they can't seem to get it together. You do not know what they brought forward to balance and harmonize. And you do not know what they have experienced. There was a video on, on Facebook It said, um, do not let someone tie your shoes and has not and tie your laces in uh, someone who has not walked a mile in your shoes. In other words, we can't judge other body and we shouldn't, and even ourselves, because we don't know what all we've been through. I have brought forth a lot of my past lives, and the ones in my trilogy, I understand why they gave me those, because they were very important, a variety of very important lives, different races, different cultures, and so on. And so when we judge other cult cultures, when we judge other people, religions, and so on, we're really only judging ourselves because we've been there, done that. And so envision, envision, and let's, like Michael says, we're just talking about this sub-universe because that's about all we can handle and we can't even handle that, but it, we, we can at least grasp that, uh, that hologram, that perception of the, this divine blueprint of duality and polarity. So, we talk about a lot of star seeds and newer souls and so on. The newer souls, the it, it, it's, it's like age groups. They have not had as much experience or as many like, unique lifetimes as the adult souls and so on. And so the star seed souls uh, at this sub-universal experience and the hologram for duality, we made, they made sure that we went out and experienced a great variety of things and talk about twin flames and so on. And we weren't allowed to join back very often with any of our immediate closer soul family, maybe, you know, distant and so on. But then gradually, and even in preparation in the fifth dimension and the sixth dimension, we started to join with some of the major members of our soul family. For those of us uh, who are in, in working through the middle level of the fourth dimension and working up there to finish, uh, finish, we prepared for it as we came down through the dimensional experiences. And we did this dance of coming and going and leaving and, and like going to another country or going, to, to go, going off with a, a, a new mission, a new, a new job. Uh, and, and so uh, one of the things that we were told in this lifetime, and I was told, because of the mission I accepted, there would be more of my closer soul family that would be with me. Some of them weren't, some of them weren't really ready to do that, but they wanted to come and they've done their part. And so many of the people now, if, if you have opened the front and the back portal of your heart and you're beginning to tap into your sacred mind and you're beginning to listen to your intuitive, to your over souls, to your soul self and beginning to tap into the sacred wisdom of your sacred mind, your intuition and your feeling nature and your solar power center, you're no longer attached to those energy cords of, of the push-pull of the third and fourth dimension. And so this, the light, sound, and color, the sound, the resonance, the frequencies, your energetic signature, your soul song, those are becoming more and more important. And so the first thing you might with people and, uh, at, at a certain level, your energetic signatures will be compatible. You will feel comfortable with them in the mundane world. 
and, and what you're doing, the, the good, the bad, the indifferent or whatever, and you're very comfortable with it. But then all of a sudden, as you begin to move forward, your energetic center your begins to change. And there is a discomfort, a little friction. It doesn't feel the same. It's feelings, it's energetic uh, shorthand that is telling you, you are changing, you're shifting. And the big thing is, like we're talking about emotions and so on, is not to judge, to focus out there and say, it's your fault or they've changed. No, you both have changed. You both have changed. Either they haven't changed or they've changed more than you and so on. So it's an energetic cosmic dance that we're doing. And once we begin to integrate and we take it as the knowledge, we change it to wisdom, we begin to live it, we begin to project it, we begin to uh, be the example, and we begin to speak the words that go with it, we've got it at that level. We've got it. We personify it. And people are going to notice, what's happened to them? They really got weird lately. Hmm. Or, gee, I don't like where they're going. Did you know what they're doing and so on? Or, wow. You really got smart all of a sudden. Where did you do? Where did you learn that? All of these different things that we didn't feel before because we had like a, we had shields. It was almost like we this bubble of light, this bubble of negativity we were in is becoming a shield of light, and it's radiating out from it. It's projecting. My message is going out to Randy, and he's either taking it or projecting. But at this point, it's very harmonious because we've worked very hard to get it there. And then this person over here, gosh, I'm really, you know, it doesn't, I really don't have anything to say anymore and so on. So you see where we are? And each, each step that you take, each new aha, each awakening, each time you make the right decision often enough to align and begin to really structure a memory seed atom and expand some part of you, you transform and your energy and vibrations begin to be more harmonious and then it goes to your soul song and it makes more of an impact and so you see and that's like to say be the change you wish to see in the world make those change be and so the just like with the emotional nature where we've been we are now with our mind we are beginning to see wow i really should have paid attention when i did that begin to listen to those nudgings of the heart and so on. And the interaction with the people, if you stand firm, you have to set boundaries. And that's one thing so many of us, we, do, we don't like confrontation. We haven't, you know, and, and so it was easier to just go along with the crowd. No, you've got to step out of your comfort zone and begin to stand alone, but also be kind, be gentle, non-judgmental. It's a lonely path in one instance because you're more and more like solitude. You like to be by yourself and you like your own thoughts. Uh, I do not play the radio. I do not, not have the TV on except maybe in the evening when I'm going to watch something because I'm always too thin. I like my thoughts. I like what I'm getting. And so it, you do become secular, but along with that, you begin to send out those your soul song and draw to you the people who are compatible and it is a reunion of vast proportions and a, and wonder and there's so much in, in recognition and so at each level each level that you attain there are going to be more and more people and it's going to happen more quickly and so on one side it's kind of sad and disturbing but if if you, will, if you will surrender to your greatest good, and this is one of the greatest things you can do. I ask for the greatest good for, for myself, for all humanity, and all, all creation, and then allow it to happen. But if you step back and don't try and make a, big, a quick decision or react in a negative or in a not so friendly way, if you just wait and contemplate or just observe, you'll get the right answer because then you are tapping into the wisdom of your higher mind, your over soul, and eventually your sacred triad. 
it's it's not easy, it's exciting, it's disturbing, it's frustrating, but it's gonna happen one way or another. So will you join hearts and hands with us as we march forward into the future? And wanna be a marching band so we can say, y'all come, y'all come, let's go together. Thank you, Rana. Yeah, the uh, the coming together of Soul Family is, Ron and I are seeing that substantially in our environment. It's important to recognize too that we're, uh, we're just attracting people to us who are of like vibrations because like attracts like. So the people we're attracting to ourselves are an affirmation to us or a confirmation that yes, we're doing the right, we're doing things right, and uh, if for some reason it was the opposite, we would know that no, we need to change something because there's some it, what's out there is coming from what's in here and in here, and so uh, I would uh, suggest to look at your relationships, look at your your friends, your acquaintances. What kind of people are you interacting with? Because it's it's a lesson where, where everything in life is teaching us something. It's either affirming that we're doing something right or it's telling us we need to work on something in some way or another. Absolutely. It's a perfect. It's just a, it's a reflection. It's like a camera in here that's projecting out there what's in here. And uh, I don't know. I, I like to look at life as, you know, what can I learn from this situation if there is a challenging situation? What's it trying to teach me? Or what is this person trying to teach me? But Ron and I are mostly, well, I don't know if I'd even say mostly, we're, we're just <laughs> having wonderful experiences with wonderful people. <laughs> and it's a grand experience. It is. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Stay hanging in there. You've got lots of help. And we're with you. We love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye for now.